In this video, you will learn to calculate elapsed time, as well as how to determine the time in different time zones in the United States. So beginning with elapsed time, what does this mean? Well, for example, let's say we were trying to figure out how much time passes between 7.30 a.m. and 1.50 p.m. The answer to that question is how much time has elapsed or has gone by. So to do this, okay, there's different ways you maybe could go about figuring this out, but probably the simplest way would be to count the hours uh, from 7.30 to 1.50. So counting the hours from starting at 7.30, one hour would take you to 8.30, two hours would take you to 9.30, three hours, 10.30, four hours, 11.30, five hours, 12.30, and then six hours would take you to 1.30. So it takes six hours to get to 1.30, and then an additional 20 minutes to get from 1.30 to 1.50. So if you count the minutes from 1.30 to 1.50, that's 20 minutes. So the total elapsed time would be six hours and 20 minutes. So that's all there is to it. You just count the hours, and then you count the minutes. Let's try another example. Example two, we're trying to figure out how much time passes between 11.15 p.m. and 3 a.m. So again, you can begin by counting the hours. So 11.15, we try to get as close as we can to three without going over. So 11.15 to 12.15 is one hour. 12.15 to 1.15 is two hours. And then 1.15 to 2.15 is three hours. All right, so three hours takes you to 2.15. Four hours would take you past three o'clock. It would take you to 3.15. So we stop at three hours. And then we count the minutes from 2.15 to three o'clock. So 15 minutes plus an additional 45 minutes would take you to three o'clock. And if you can't do that in your head, realize that there are 60 minutes in an hour. So three o'clock, think of that as like 60. And then this is 15 minutes. So we subtract 60 minus 15 that gives you 45. All right, so that's how we figure out the minutes. So the elapsed time would be three hours and 45 minutes. You put the two times together. All right, so figuring out elapsed time, you basically are just counting, just counting the hours and then the minutes. And now the second part of this lesson is we want to deal with time zones. And I understand that there may be some of you watching this that are not from the United States or don't live in the United States. So this might not apply to you as much, but uh, the concepts still would apply as far as determining um, different times and time zones. All right, so we're just given a basic overview. We're not getting into all the, the details um, with the prime meridian and all the stuff we could be getting into. But we just want to give you the tools to, you know, function on a, you know, in, in society, function where you can determine the time in different time zones because realistically uh, with the internet and um, everything being online it's very easy to communicate with people around the country but you need to understand that if you tell someone hey call me at you know five o'clock they might be in a whole different part of the country and five o'clock for them would be a totally different time so it's important to understand how to convert from one time zone to another so we have uh, five, uh, actually six main time zones in the United States. All right, so we have, first of all, Hawaii time. So Hawaii is really far west. It is, um, here's California. Hawaii is going to be way over here off on the side. On the map, okay, we just put it down here because there's not, um, it's not enough room on the map. We, it's going to be way off on the side over here. So Hawaii is not down below, as you see in this map, but it's going to be way up on the side. And that's kind of where, as far west as everything gets for the US. And then the next time zone over is going to be the Alaskan time zone. And again, Alaska on the map here is put down by Mexico, but in reality, it's way up north, um, northwest, and it's going to be up, up by Canada. All right, so again on the map, because we want to put it all together, so it's a smaller map, we put it down here just to show you that it is, it does belong to the country, but uh, it's gonna be way up here, up north. So this is the next time zone, is the Alaskan time zone. And then 
if you, as you progress further and further east, we get more and more time zones. So after Alaska, if you go further east, so this way, we're going to get the Pacific time zone. This is along the Pacific Ocean and going a little bit inward. And then after Pacific time zone is the mountain time zone. And it's called that because it's um, over here by the Rockies. So this is where a lot of the mountains are in this area. So this is the mountain time zone. Then you go further east, and now we have the central time zone. And then you go further east, we have the eastern time zone, which is the east coast, and then everything um, over here to Indiana. All right, so these are your time zones. We have six of them. All right, and each one differs by one hour. So you see here on this map, it tells you that eastern time would be 6 p.m., if that's the case, central is going to be one hour less than that. It's going to be 5 p.m. And then the mountain time zone would be one hour less than that. That's 4 p.m. And then Pacific would be 3 p.m., one hour less. Then Alaska is further west, and it's one hour different from the Pacific time zone. So that's going to be 2 p.m. Then Hawaii is even further west. It's way out in the ocean, and that's going to be one hour different from Alaska, which is 1 p.m. All right, so that's the different time zones. And it's also important to realize, and we see it um, maybe kind of small on the map, but um, there's parts of the country that do not observe daylight savings. So I don't know if you can see that down here in this corner. Okay, the places with those kind of like these diagonal bars are places that do not observe. So you notice that here in Arizona, there are is a big part of the, of the state that does not observe daylight savings. And the other place is Hawaii. Hawaii does not observe daylight savings either. Which makes it a little confusing when you're trying to figure out the, the time difference because the time difference would actually depend on the time of the year. And uh, me personally, I actually live in Hawaii currently and even though it's a five hour difference here on the map, right, it says 1 p.m. Hawaii time, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Right now, as I'm making this video, it's in the spring, almost summertime, and it's actually a six hour time difference because once daylight savings hits, all these, all the clocks move ahead one hour. Right in the springtime, it springs ahead or moves ahead an hour, but Hawaii stays at the same. So uh, this time of the year is actually a six hour time difference. In Arizona, it's going to be Probably even more confusing because parts of Arizona observe and other parts do not. So anyway, we're just, we're just going to assume that we are um, in a regular time of the year. So I guess from um, from fall to springtime. So that time of the year, like during the winter, there's only a five hour difference between Hawaii and the East Coast. So we're going to assume it's that time of the year and so all these times would would um, actually work, all right? So those are our time zones, and I didn't put them up on the screen here on the side, but notice the abbreviations as well. Okay, so we have, um, you know, ST at the end of each of these, it stands for standard time, all right? And then the letter in the front is the first word. So like Eastern Standard Time would be EST, Central Standard Time would be CST, Mountain, starts with an M, so it's MST. Uh, Pacific is PST. Alaska, we do A and K, so capital A and K for Alaska. And then Hawaii, we do a capital H for Hawaii Standard Time. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna convert between different time zones. So for example, one, let's say we have 10, or sorry, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and we're trying to figure out what time is it in the central a central time zone, so central standard time. Well, you can take a look. We have the list here. This is in order from west to east. And so if you, if you have this memorized, the order, all we do is we just count the number of time zones that it's different by. So Pacific is right here. We're converting into uh, central. So we have to add one, two hours. So we're adding two hours to the time because it's two time zones away. So 11 plus two hours, we're gonna have to add because we're going this, this direction. That takes you to one o'clock, right? If you add two hours to 11 a.m., it takes you to one o'clock p.m. 
So your answer is 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Okay, let's try example two. We're converting from 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time into something Pacific Standard Time. So we are going from mountain back to Pacific. So if you're going this way, if you're going back, I should draw this out here. If you're going this way, you subtract because you have to go back in time. And if you're going down this way in the list, you have to add hours to the time. So we're going backwards, so we have to subtract. So we subtract one because we're going back one time zone. So four minus one takes you to three o'clock. So the time in Pacific Standard Time would be three o'clock. Let's try another one. Here we have 10 a.m. That is Alaskan Standard Time and convert that into Eastern Standard Time. So again, assuming we have this list memorized in order from the furthest west to furthest east, uh, we can figure out by counting the time zone uh, differences. So we're going from Alaska to Eastern. So we're going down this way, so we have to add. And we're going down one, two, three, four. So you have to add four hours to this time. Well, two hours added takes you to noon. And then you add um, two more hours to that to get to 2 o'clock. So your time would be 2 o'clock PM, and that is Eastern Standard Time. Let's do one more example. Example 4, we have 3 PM Eastern Standard Time, and we are converting into Central Standard Time. So Pacific time is over here, and then Central is down here. All right, so, or so sorry, not Pacific, that's Eastern. I saw the P, I was looking at, I thought that was Pacific. This is Eastern Standard Time. So Eastern Standard Time would be here, and you're going back this way. So you're going back, so you have to subtract, and we're subtracting one hour because it's one time zone away. All right, so we subtract one hour, so three minus one takes you to two o'clock. So three o'clock Eastern Standard Time would be two o'clock Central Standard Time. And that concludes our lesson for today. We will see you next time.